State Attorney General Jeff Landry is pushing to get funding withheld from New Orleans if the city does not comply with Louisiana's abortion trigger laws. That is once they take effect. Right now, abortion is legal after a Baton Rouge judge extended a temporary restraining order today, putting those laws on hold. But Lily Cumming breaks down the letter that Landry sent this morning. It's a battle over money. The state's bond commission can offer a line of credit, so to speak, to the city of New Orleans to pay for certain projects. The attorney general, Jeff Landry, fired off a letter today to the head of the bond commission asking that they withhold that credit because of the city's stance on enforcing abortion restrictions. We caught up with Mayor LaToya Cantrell this morning. I think it's very unfortunate, but I will not be uh, baited uh, into politics but I will stand for women. In 2021, the Bond Commission temporarily withheld about $30 million from New Orleans, halting major projects, including renovations to the Superdome. Some lawmakers blamed a lack of funding, but others on the commission cited concerns over the mayor's COVID policies. Now Landry wants them to do it again. Uh, it comes as no surprise, but it only makes me have to focus and double down on my efforts to ensure that the women of this city are in a safe haven and they're protected every step of the way. The mayor, Orleans Parish District Attorney, NOPD, and New Orleans City Council have all said the abortion laws won't be enforced. In a tweet Tuesday morning, City Council President Helena Moreno responded to the AG's letter saying in part, it's about priorities. In NOLA, we must prioritize curbing violence. But Landry's letter says the state constitution doesn't give them that option, saying in part, a parish or municipality should not benefit from the hardworking taxpayers of this state while ignoring laws validly enacted by the people through their representatives. Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News.